You have just seen a video of the new concept trailer drone that we are currently developing. If this trailer drone could actually run on the road, how would it change the environment around us? Most commercial vehicles use diesel and have large engines that produce a lot of emissions. To address this issue, Hyundai Motor Group has envisioned a trailer drone using hydrogen as an energy source. It emits only pure water as a byproduct and drives fully autonomously. This new concept shows how an automaker can contribute to tackling climate change. We've experienced extreme weather around the world in recent years. There are heat waves in some places and downpours and floods in others. Countries and companies are developing feasible carbon neutral solutions to help combat global warming. Hyundai Motor Group's solution to this problem is to encourage a shift in the energy paradigm to hydrogen. I'm here today to tell you that hydrogen is a powerful solution for combating climate change. We have long understood the tremendous potential of hydrogen energy. So, over the past 20 years, we have devoted significant resources and talents to develop hydrogen-based technologies. As a result of these long-term efforts, our hydrogen passenger and commercial vehicles are already in use around the world, helping to popularize hydrogen energy. In recent years, countries and companies have actively pursued this change by making bold investments in hydrogen infrastructure. Then, what does Hyundai Motor Group's vision for future hydrogen society look like? Our vision covers not only passenger and commercial vehicles, but also various types of transportation, such as trams, trains, ships, and urban air mobility. Our vision is to apply hydrogen energy in all areas of life and industry, such as our homes, workplaces, and factories. The goal is to make hydrogen readily used for everyone, everything, and everywhere. With this breakthrough, we aim to help foster a worldwide hydrogen society by 2040. In particular, we will proactively respond to climate change through our hydrogen solutions, starting with the commercial vehicles sector, which emits relatively large amounts of CO2. Going forward, Hyundai Motor Group will launch all our new commercial vehicles, such as buses and heavy-duty trucks, as hydrogen EVs and battery EVs in the global market. By 2028, we plan to become the first global automaker to apply fuel cell system to all commercial vehicle models. Using these hydrogen commercial vehicles, we will promote the complete transition of Korea's public transportation and logistics systems to hydrogen-based solutions. This will be a good model to follow for countries around the world. To achieve this, we are planning to introduce a new fuel cell system in the near future at a reduced price and volume with significantly improved durability and output. We are confident that with our vision and technological innovation, there will be a great changes in a human life comparable to the industrial revolution and digital revolution. Now, Mr. Albert Biermann, the president of Hyundai Motor Group in charge of R&D, will explain in more detail about how we will achieve this. Albert, please take the stage. Hello, this is Albert Biermann. When did the hydrogen fuel cell start its career? The first remarkable application of hydrogen fuel cells started in the 1960s for satellites 
and spacecraft of the Gemini and Apollo programs. We expected that bringing hydrogen fuel cells to the public would not be easy. Nonetheless, Hyundai Motor Group anticipated the future potential of hydrogen fuel cell at an early stage. In 1998, Hyundai started to develop a hydrofuel cell car and has made continuous efforts to make significant progress to the present day. In February 2013, Tucson FCEV was released for the first time in the world, opening the door to the mass production of fuel cell EVs. Then, in 2018, Hyundai released the next generation hydrogen fuel cell SUV, Nexo. Our Nexo is ranked as the FCEV with the most sales worldwide. But we didn't stop there. We plan to use our fuel cell EVs in various fields. First is the key to logistics, trucks. The big challenges in long-haul, zero-emission, heavy-duty truck operation is refueling time and range. The zero-emission powertrain of our Action Fuel Cell truck consists of two Nexo fuel cell systems, a hybrid high-voltage battery for energy recuperation and a powerful electric motor. Our Hyundai Action fuel cell truck is the first mass-produced heavy-duty fuel cell truck in the world and started operating in Switzerland last summer. Our fleet keeps growing and we currently have 45 Action fuel cell trucks on the road. They cover over 210,000 kilometers of zero-emission operations each month and avoid an equivalent of over 130 tons of CO2 every month. We are remotely monitoring each of our action fuel cell trucks like a Le Mans race car, using our latest smart vehicle monitoring technology. And so far, my engineers are very satisfied with the performance, the efficiency and reliability. From the start, Accident has also met customer expectations, even in challenging aspects such as refueling time and range. Let's hear from the logistics company and the driver in Switzerland about their experience with Accident fuel cell truck. Hallo, guten Morgen, Herr Gallica. Sie haben es wirklich sehr schön in der Schweiz. Können Sie uns ein wenig über den Hyundai Axion Fuel Cell Truck erzählen? Guten Morgen, Herr Biermann. Sehr gerne. Zurzeit betreiben wir sechs Fuel Cell Trucks von Hyundai. Der Xen überzeugt durch seine Qualität und Zuverlässigkeit. Dank der Möglichkeit, im Anhängerbetrieb zu fahren, sind das Ladevolumen und die Nutzlast in unserem Fall identisch mit einem konventionellen LKW. Durch die Fuel Cell Technologie sind die Betankungszeiten kurz und wir können den Truck in unseren gewohnten Betriebsstrukturen einsetzen. Tagsüber im Verteilerverkehr und am Abend im Shuttlebetrieb. Mischa, was meinst du zum Truck? Der Truck ist kraftvoll, leise, komfortabel zu fahren und wir haben eine gute Rückmeldung von den Kunden und ich habe sehr viel Spaß mit dem Truck zu fahren. Danke. Besten Dank und zurück ins Studio. Vielen Dank und weiterhin sichere und saubere Fahrt mit dem Hyundai Axiant Fuel Cell Truck. Noch in diesem Jahr werden wir die ersten Hyundai Axiant Fuel Cell Truck mit vielen Verbesserungen und verbesserter Nutzlast in die Schweiz liefern. Dann können wir gemeinsam noch mehr für die Umwelt tun. We have started mass production a greatly approved model of the current Action fuel cell. We are also developing a tractor based on Action fuel cell that will be released in 2024. Hydrogen fuel cells are not only being used commercially for Nexo SUV 
Alex City Bus, an action fuel cell truck, but are also becoming interesting for high power vehicle applications. Let's take a look at our first hydrogen powered hybrid sports car prototype, the Vision FK. It has a maximum output of over 500 kilowatt and it accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in less than four seconds. We expect over 600 kilometers of range. Our engineers combined a hydrogen fuel cell energy converter with a high power rear wheel drive plug-in PE system. Hyundai's high performance car brand Hyundai N has proved its technological prowess by winning many international motorsport competitions. Now, such technological prowess will be applied to the high performance fuel cell EV and could eventually compete in motorsports. I have to admit that the Vision FK prototype is a bit of technical overkill, but it is an exciting challenge for our ambitious engineers. The packaging situation is extremely complicated. So we decided to collaborate with Rimatz Automobili in which Hyundai Motor Group invested in 2019. For this Vision FK prototype, we developed the power electric system with Rimatz, while our high performance and fuel cell engineers developed all other systems of the Vision FK prototype. Here's another use case for hydrogen. Production, storage and transportation convenience are important for the widespread use of the hydrogen fuel cell as an energy converter and power generator. This is our first H2 portable hydrogen fuel cell power charger. This powerful zero emission charger was developed to charge high performance electric race cars that are participating in electric touring car racing, the ETCR. Infrastructure, and temperature independency, immediate and dynamic power generation, zero emission and high reliability also play a key role in producing emergency electricity at remote and sensitive locations where a power supply is difficult. Hyundai's hydrogen fuel cell technology is not limited to vehicles. This is an eco-friendly tram that uses hydrogen fuel cells. There is also a rescue drone that can extinguish fires and save lives. The eco-friendly hydrogen fuel cell has vast potential for use in several next-generation forms of mobility such as trams and UAMs. Honda's plans to develop hydrogen fuel cell so that they can be applied to various mobility devices beyond passenger and commercial vehicles. Now, shall we look at the next generation of fuel cell system technology that Hyundai Motor Group is developing? Sehun, please, now it's your turn. Good morning, afternoon and evening, everyone. My name is Sehun Kim, Executive Vice President and Head of Fuel Cell Center at Hyundai Motor Group. I'm honored to speak at this very special event. Today, I'd like to talk about the present and future of hydrogen technology, particularly our fuel cell system and related efforts toward fostering a renewable energy society. My good old Japanese friend, Professor Hirose, once told me that nomads preserve milk as cheese left over from the summer and use it as a milk substitute during winter. When a renewable energy society is established, hydrogen will play a similar role to cheese, converting excess electricity generated by solar or wind power into hydrogen will be 
very useful for storing large amount of energy and transporting it over long distances. So electricity is like milk and hydrogen is like cheese. See what I mean? Countries around the world are looking to use hydrogen as an energy alternative for global carbon neutral society. European countries and the United States have boldly announced visions for hydrogen economies and are supporting infrastructure development in transportation and manufacturing. But many people still wonder about hydrogen technology and are skeptical if it could be really used in everyday life. Today, let me show you that fuel cell is a proven technology that can deliver the benefits of hydrogen to people around the world in various fields. Basically, a fuel cell is a power generator, like an engine. It differs from a battery, which stores electricity. A fuel cell system consists of a fuel cell stack that generates electricity, a hydrogen supply system, an air supply system, and a thermal management system. It generates power by combining hydrogen and oxygen, similar to the engine of an internal combustion vehicle, but without the carbon emissions. Unlike a battery that passively stores energy, a fuel cell system produces energy through chemical reactions and operates as long as hydrogen fuel is supplied. The science is simple. Fuel cell is just a reverse reaction of water electrolysis that many of you learned in school. As recently as 15 years ago, many people still had doubts about hydrogen fuel cell technology. Its success depended on miracles in four areas. Hydrogen production, hydrogen storage, fuel cell technology, and infrastructure. At that time, I fully agreed that resolving these four challenges would not be easy. However, since then, Hyundai Motor Group has undertaken the challenges and hasn't given up. Today, clean hydrogen production is one of the most promising means for successfully achieving the European Green Deal. And gigawatt-scale projects have already been announced. Recently, the EU and US announced their plans to support the establishment of hydrogen refueling infrastructure. At least for long-haul commercial trucks, there is consensus that hydrogen and fuel cells will offer the best alternative to diesel powertrains. We are now at the point where we can confidently show you our vision for realizing a global hydrogen society. The core competitiveness of fuel cell technology is comprised of cost and durability. The most important part for cost reduction is the stack. There are around 400 cells combined in a stack, and the cost of this part accounts for the largest portion. The structure of a fuel cell is shown in the figure. The cell consists of two bipolar plates, which provide flow channels for hydrogen and oxygen, and support the structure of the stack. Two gas diffusion layers, and a membrane electrode assembly, which is called MEA. MEA forms the coal of a fuel cell and is a key component that generates electricity by causing a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Reducing the cost of these components is the key to cost competitiveness. In the case of bipolar plates, we have reduced the price by replacing the graphite materials to stainless steel. There are worries that stainless steel would corrode and would not last long in the acidic fuel cell environment. But after more than 10 years of development, we are successfully using stainless steel, even without special coating for cathode bipolar plates. I still hear people saying that fuel cells are expensive because they require a large amount of platinum. That was true 10 years ago. But actually, platinum is not the major cost factor now. And we are steadily reducing the amount of platinum used as a catalyst. Let me show you how the cost of fuel cell system has decreased. 
In the past, the cost of a fuel cell vehicle was extremely expensive and was notoriously called a million dollar car. For example, the cost of a fuel cell system applied to a prototype vehicle in early 2003 was triple the price of my house in Seoul. However, in 2006, the cost was reduced by half. The cost of the first generation fuel cell system installed in the first mass-produced Tucson FCEV in 2013 was reduced to about 10% of the first model developed 10 years before. As you can see in the graph, fuel cell costs have been reduced by nearly 98% over the past two decades. However, the fuel cell vehicle market is still at the early stage of development. Only 10 to 15,000 fuel cell vehicles are produced per year, and we are not yet benefiting from economies of scale. In comparison, there are 4 to 5 million EVs and nearly 100 million ICE vehicles produced per year. So we still have work to do. Our goal is to achieve cost competitiveness comparable to that of EV batteries by 2030. I also want to point out that durability improvements are progressing at a fast pace. Durability of a fuel cell system depends on various chemical conditions, which makes durability more difficult to ensure. During 2004 and 2009, the U.S. Department of Energy launched a fuel cell vehicle demonstration project in order to verify the durability of fuel cell cars. The average durability of the fuel cell stacks at that time was only 821 hours, which is only one and a half year of durability. This was another reason why people doubted that fuel cell technology could be commercialized. Today, the industry standard of durability is 5,000 hours, which corresponds to 10-year life cycle of passenger cars. For commercial vehicles, the durability requirement is much tougher, from 500,000 to 1 million kilometers. I'm sure this requirement can be achieved in the near future by using better materials engineering and operation technologies. We are focused on achieving cost reduction and improving durability throughout our development activities. Today, I'm going to share details about the next generation fuel cell system that Hyundai Motor Group will launch in the near future. It's a third generation system under development to succeed Nexo's current system. The one on the left is the 100 kilowatt class system, and the one on the right is a 200 kilowatt class system. Compared to Nexo's system, the 100 kilowatt version is significantly smaller, as we reduce its volume by 30%, which ultimately improves vehicle packaging. Compared to Nexo's system, the 200 kilowatt version is almost the same size but the twice the output. This version was developed for commercial trucks. By using two systems per truck, we can provide around 350 kilowatt, which is equivalent to the power of current diesel engines. We have arranged the first and second generation systems here for your reference. It is easy to see the difference. In 2013, it was about this size. We had difficulty putting this system in the vehicle, as you can imagine. But the system applied to Nexo in 2018 was reduced in size like this. The third generation system to be applied in 2023 is this size. It's still in the prototype stage. So by the time it goes into mass production, you will see a system with much more refined level of completion. The fuel cell power module is a system that's being promoted for the development of megawatt scale 
power generation systems. It is possible to provide various outputs, such as 500 kilowatts and 1 megawatt, by expanding several 100 kilowatt unit modular systems. If the technology improves, it can be assembled like Lego blocks to produce high capacity output. Just imagine the possibilities. Some people say that replacing conventional power system with fuel cell is easy, but they are wrong. Other people say it's impossible, but they are also wrong. It's very challenging, demanding us to exert unprecedented efforts, but we are confident that it's possible. And we, Hyundai, will pave the way for the global hydrogen economy with our fuel cells powered by H2. Thank you for your interest and support. Now, let's hear from Sang Yeop about the design of future hydrogen mobility. Thank you, Sehun. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sang Yeop Lee. As a car designer, last year was a major wake up call. For a brief time, when some countries went into complete lockdown, personal mobility was taken away. At the same time, there were glimpses of hope. We saw sign of the earth trying to heal itself. So at Hyundai, we went back to the drawing board to think back from the basics. We had to think different. We knew we had the tools. Let me take you back about 10 years. Do you remember when the smartphone was introduced to public? It was a perfect storm of new technology that resulted in the creation of a completely new value chain. What used to be just a phone is now a highly emotional product with great design, immaculate sound quality, endless media you can stream, on the go. A completely new value chain has emerged around it. Do you remember the word telephone? When was the last time you used that word? At Hyundai, the mobility isn't limited to people. We do cargo. Incredible volumes of cargo are transported in trailers, in trains, and in ships. This sounds like a distant industry, but it is actually closer than you may think. That package you order, the brand new car you were waiting for, they are transported to your front door through a seamless worldwide logistics system. Due to COVID-19, this system was crippled by inefficiencies last year. It also shed lights on the much needed updates to an archaic logistics system. Hyundai is well positioned to lead this change with a broad business portfolio, from automobile to steel, construction, and trains. We are ideally equipped to deploy and rapidly scale innovative technologies we have been researching for some time now that back in 2019, we introduced our vision of a hydrogen fuel cell commercial vehicle with the Neptune concept. At CES 2020, we presented the purpose-built vehicle, pushing the boundaries of what is possible when systems go fully autonomous. This blank design slate is a never-before-experienced dream opportunity, and we put everything that we learned in the last few years into this project. The culmination of that effort is the fuel cell e -bogey. Creating the e wasn't as easy as putting one and one together. The requirements of the commercial vehicle was significantly different from that of passenger cars. Who knew? So we had to think, 
completely differently and consider the modularity needed to cover a vast network of the value chain. Devoid of passengers, we could encase the entire fuel cell system in the dedicated chassis with a fully autonomous system. A steering system could be placed at both the front and rear. What does this do? It enables the sideways movement. Lastly, the intelligent package resulted in the entire system being compact enough to sit under the container. Hence, the term bogey that originates from the rail industry. Rail bogies are wheel subframe that sit under every train car. The e-bogey really is more like a smart robot than a traditional car, just like the smartphone revolution. The fuel cell e-bogey is a platform that offers a limitless business application. Large and heavy containers are limited by their size and the space they require to move. But with two e-bogies in a double bogey configuration under a container, they can articulate movement from beneath. It helps them minimize the turning radius or to slide sideways into a tight spot. Logistical efficiency is further enhanced by the cluster mode. This allows multiple trailer drones or a single e-bogey to travel together in unison. In what? It is an almost train-like configuration. It is a true multi-purpose platform that can be adapted to an even wider value chain, container transportation, port site logistics, airport operation, construction, fire and rescue. Ladies and gentlemen, fuel cells, trucks, trailers, and robots, all these businesses can now be supported by a single platform. There's an old saying, store new wine and new wine skin. We will realize hydrogen mobility that will accelerate human progress. And Hyundai's innovative design approach will be the key to this transformation. Thank you for your time. Now to wrap up our presentation today, let's hear once again from our leader, Chairman Chung. What do you think of our story so far? Our presentation today is not just about showcasing Hyundai's corporate performance and vision. We sincerely want to offer a practical solution for the sustainable development of humanity and our planet. In the meantime, the degree and frequency of environmental disasters is rising fast. In a recent landmark assessment, global experts said that we now face cold red for humanity. Global cooperation is crucial and urgent. This may be the last train to a hydrogen society and time is running out. There is no question that hydrogen is one of the most powerful and pragmatic solutions for overcoming environmental challenges. However, it will take a large global community to foster a hydrogen society. No single company or government can do it alone. As a responsible member of our global community, Hyundai Motor Group will strive to advance the hydrogen society. The hydrogen wave has already started to swell. We welcome all of you to ride this wave of innovation to the shore of a new energy paradigm. Thank you.